Wellness Wednesday, and we're talking about long-term effects of COVID. There's a group of people known as long haulers, and they face quite the battle right now. We're talking with Dr. Dixie Harris. She's a pulmonary critical care doctor with Intermountain. Dr. Harris, thanks so much for stepping truly out of the ICU to join us for a few minutes. I know it's as busy as ever there. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Let's talk about COVID. Yes, we have been talking about it for the past 10, 11 months. I can't believe we're almost coming up on that one year mark of having the first case of COVID here in the state of Utah. There are a small group of people that are get over COVID somewhat, and I get a, say get over very loosely, but they're known as long haulers and they just can't seem to get rid of the symptoms of COVID. Who are these people? Who are affected? And what are they battling right now? So there's a couple of groups of people. Uh, first off, there's the people who've been hospitalized with COVID uh, pneumonia, hospitalized with other COVID complications. So that's one group. And many of them have ongoing symptoms for weeks and months. Then there's another group of patients who maybe had just a few symptoms, maybe just like symptoms of a mild cold. But then they end up with long-term symptoms. The most prominent symptom is fatigue. And about, we think, we're still not sure, but we think about 10% of patients who are treated as an outpatient or have symptoms as an outpatient, never had to be hospitalized, actually have ongoing symptoms for more than three weeks. That is a long time. And I'm sure when dealing with these patients, it's tough to keep your hope up when you're feeling so bad for so long. What do you tell them? What is the prognosis long-term, longer term for those patients? So we are still learning because, as you mentioned, that we've just known about this disease for a year. So we're still learning about um, about what to expect long term. What I will tell my patients is, number one, you're not alone because many patients will say, well, everybody else I know either had no symptoms or their symptoms are completely gone. So they're very frustrated. And many of these patients are younger quite healthy. So that's another thing is they don't expect to have ongoing symptoms like this fatigue or headache or shortness of breath or coughing. So they get very frustrated. So first off, I validate, yes, this is not uncommon. We do see it, number one. Number two is what I've seen, and I've seen patients with chronic symptoms since April. Initially, we didn't even recognize that's what they were having. But um, I tell the patients, what I see is a are getting, my patients are getting better over time. Time is the main, I guess, cure or treatment and patience. And that's kind of what I see. There is help out there. And I think that's important to know too. At Intermountain, not only are you treating these patients, Dr. Harris, but you're behind a whole research uh, department as well. What is the newest, the latest piece of information you can share with the public based upon your research on COVID? So I think the most important thing is if you get COVID, contact your primary care. Um, make sure that if you're having symptoms, that you're not in the category that needs early treatment. We are uh, now treating patients at high risk with monoclonal antibodies. And then even if you only have mild symptoms, it's best to touch base with your primary care because we do have uh, things we tell patients of things to watch for, mm -hmm. what to monitor, how to treat yourself. We want people moving. We don't want to have blood clots. There's lots of things we've learned and we're doing. As far as in the hospital, we also have research protocols going on. So not only just in the hospital, but even patients who have symptoms who are mild but yet have high risk, we may be giving them alternative treatment or the monoclonal antibody treatment. So that's important. As far as long-term we, um, all the primary care, we're all seeing patients with long-term symptoms. So get in what we're looking for are things that need to be treated different. Other things is just um, treating symptomatically, rest. And then also we are treating patients even at our uh, live well centers, uh, rehab centers with ongoing symptoms. Yeah, first and foremost, stay healthy. That's our wish for everyone. Dr. Harris, thanks yes. so much for all that information. Best to be armed with the most knowledge possible. Dr. Dixie Thank Harris you. with Intermountain Healthcare. Stay safe. Thank you.